Hello, I'm Daniel and today I'm going to show you how to build the point of view camera vibration dampener. Uh, if you've already bought this, thank you for purchasing this product. So this, uh, this is pretty easy to build, there's not a lot to it. Uh, just by looking at it you can probably already figure out how, so I'm more uh, going to focus on two different methods you can use it and uh, how to tune it. But first of all, for the build, first step is to take one plate and just put these bolts through the holes and then attach the little little carbon bracket onto over those bolts and then put on nuts onto those bolts and don't screw them down all the way just get them started maybe screw them down uh, down on the bolt like a millimeter so that you have room to fit the cable into those uh, under those little carbon pieces like that so now I'll go ahead and do that to all four corners so I've got one done now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one as well So once you've got both of those done, it's time to install the, the wire rope. So put it right underneath the carbon bracket and in between the two little bolts. And have it stick out just like a millimeter um, out from underneath the carbon bracket. And then just put your finger over those bolts as so. And tighten them down. Just hold the nut with your finger so it doesn't uh, spin. And later on you can grab that nut with the pliers and hold it really firmly and crank it down harder. But now you just want to tighten it up just so it stays in there for a while. Great, so now all the wire is connected. Just adjust it so that they're all coming out of the carbon bracket straight. Um, now I'm going to take some pliers and with these they're, they have a very flat tip so I can just hold both of the nuts at a time and now I'm gonna crank down on the bolts now you don't want to over tighten them because it could break that little carbon bracket so you want to tighten down on them just enough so that there's a, a slight slight amount of bend in that carbon bracket it doesn't take much but sometimes you can hear hear it crack or hear the little wire rope adjust but that's fine so just barely crank down on it until there's a, just a little bit of bend in that carbon and once those are all tight we're gonna take one piece of the wire and put it under the little carbon bracket on the other piece just like that now, try and flip those over and keep them straight. Have the wire hang out uh, like a millimeter under that little carbon bracket, just like you did over here. And I'm just going to hold the nuts with my finger and tighten down on these bolts just to snug them up. So, they're not super tight yet, so I can still move this around. I'm just going to make sure that it's fairly straight. Now I can go ahead and tighten it up more with this pliers. Okay, so that's nice and tight. Now, I'm just gonna bend that over and thread this wire through the opposite arm. And it's kind of hard to get it to stay there while you tighten down these bolts, but it's not impossible. So I'm just holding the nuts with my thumb. Again, the cable sticking about a millimeter out from the other side of the carbon plate, of the little carbon plate. And it's kind of crooked, but they're not completely tight yet, so I can adjust that. You just gotta make sure that it'll stand up on its own, just like that. Now I'm gonna come back and Tighten them up as much as I can until those nuts start to spin 
and then I'll need a pliers. Okay, cool. So now I'll just finish them off. Alright, that's nice and firm. So now just basically do the same thing to these two these two wires. Alright, so that's all finished and assembled. And as you can see, it squashes and I can pull it and no wires come out or anything like that. So now I'm going to talk about uh, mounting the camera. So it's basically made to hang from your multi-rotor or whatever you decide to put it on, kind of like this. And here I have a GoPro clip. Now it's best, if you can, to glue or however you want to mount it, um, the actual clip that slides into the sticky mount. It's best to glue that directly to the carbon plate because sometimes these clips, when they're clipped into the sticky mount, those wiggle around a little bit and that'll cause instability in the video. So it's best to glue this directly on if you have a spare one of these lying around that you can use for that. Now regarding the length of the cables. The longer the cables are, the more this could slosh around. But uh, if you mount it, these are, these are, these are 2.5 inch cables. So mount it on your multi-rotor and give it a test with the cables uh, at their full length and see how it works. If there's zero jello in the video, but you're noticing the camera's moving a little bit relative to the quad frame, then you might want to shorten these cables just by loosening these little brackets and just pushing the cable in a little bit. And what that'll do is make the cable a little bit harder. So it might be easier for high frequency vibration to get through to the camera but it's not gonna slosh around. So this is another thing I've found that helps a lot, especially if you have a lightweight camera. Take the cables and actually remove one or two of the strands. That'll really soften it up and make it uh, isolate vibrations a lot better, especially for the smaller cameras. If you're using a bigger camera, like six, six-ish ounces or over, then I would just keep the full cable. In my tests with a GoPro Hero 3, I found that removing two strands works best. So in the rare occurrence that you're still getting vibration even after you thin out these, these wire rope pieces and tune it in, uh, here's my recommendation. This works extremely well, and uh, even if you aren't still getting vibration, uh, this might be a good idea anyways, just because it uh, helps deplete any vibration that still might get into the camera platform. So what, what happens is when you have this thing mounted to the aircraft in the center, these arms can flex a little bit, um, with vi with any vibration and uh, that can lead to more vibration in the camera. So what I recommend doing is using uh, popsicle sticks, you can use carbon rods, you can use really anything and just gluing it to the bottom of the carbon uh, to stiffen that up a little bit. Now if you mount the top plate on the aircraft and connect these arms to the actual aircraft's frame. So for example, you put glue like here, 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 and here, and here, and then stick it up onto the bottom plate of the aircraft, then you don't need to glue anything to the bottom of the top plate to stiffen it, because these arms will already be stiffened. But, but you will need to do it to the bottom plate. So what I would do, I'm just using popsicle sticks, but again, you can use really anything. And I'm just cutting these down to size so that this will fit right in that bottom in that bottom uh, area. And then just I'm just using hot glue here. Take some hot glue, run some down the popsicle stick, just like that. And then simply place this, oh, I might have messed up. Nope, uh, then just place that right, right along the bottom. And now obviously with the next popsicle stick, uh, it, it can't, bend over this one that's already there. So you're gonna have to cut it down, but that's not a problem even, even when it is cut down and it's not actually running the whole length of the, of the carbon piece, it'll still have the same dampening effect. Whoops. 
So just like that. So as you can see here, I have popsicle sticks on the top and bottom. And now I can mount this on top of the aircraft, or not on top, but I can mount this on the aircraft um, just connected right in the center and I won't have a problem uh, with vibration. This is, with all the tests I've done, this is the best setup right here. Having uh, these sticks in place, having taking two strands off each cable and having the cables at the full 2.5 inches. This is the best setup. But anyways, that's how to build these vibration uh, POV camera plates. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for purchasing if that's what you did. Good luck with your aerial filming and adios.